Hello, my name is John, AKA Darth Chet, and this is my house. First off, I'm in the hallway at the entrance of my house. And as you can see, I have a foreign language original Star Wars poster. These are my tickets from the 1990s um, prequel era movies and the uh, re-release of the original trilogy. This is wallpaper from my parents' house from where I grew up and before my mom sold her house. I steamed off the wallpaper and took it with me. So all the gunk and grime on it was uh, stuff that occurred over many years of childhood horror. <laughs> Let's just say that. This is my lamp from Christmas Story. This is my living room. This is my Jabba's sail barge decoration, or excuse me, my Jabba's sail barge ship. And some of my posters, along with some of my Black Series helmets. The bottom display case houses um, some of the original Kenner 1970s and 1980s figures and some Gloob Micro Machines. In the cubies are just uh, various and sundry toys and knickknacks I've collected over the years. And as you can see, they, I have a head humper from Half-Life, some original movie um, pictures from, uh, from theaters, my Conan figures, and some of my Retro collection figures are above the back door. And I will go into more detail with that. That is my computer and my desk. This display case has all of my alien action figures and collectibles I've collected over the years. Up above here are some 118th scale planes and my Star Wars ships off to my larger display case. I don't really collect pop figures, but I did like these. These were some of the Walmart exclusives and the Rancor with Luke and Ula and the Sand Trooper and Dubak. I do have a Wampa rug and some of the big figs and a uh, uh, parts missing Clone Wars vehicle. Up above the display case, again, are more Star Wars knickknacks, empty boxes uh, from some of my ships, which uh, actually look really good up there. Um, and some old figurines from the late 1990s, Star Wars banks, etc. The first shelf here has some Disney XD figures plus the uh, Disneyland uh, figures that they used to sell. I don't know. They might still sell them. Some Disney toy box figures with more of the XD figures. I think I have the complete set. Uh, some original Lego figures. Uh, my one episode seven figure. Some... Um, of the original 95 Power of the Force um, bounty hunters and some pilots because, well, pilots are cool. Down here are some of my Imperial Black Series figures and behind them are my Cartoon Network uh, Clone Wars figures, uh, my Black Series Land Speeder and a New Hope figures. More Clone Wars figures, an original first print Star Wars book. Um, some of my Black Series uh, Tatooine characters and creatures. Down below is my Star Wars Rebels collection. Rebels 3.5 inch figures and Black Series figures. 
coming over, of course, is Mandalorian. How can we not have Mandalorian? And behind them are mostly Star Tours figures, though I do have some Hot Wheels and some, uh, some Legos that my son used to collect that I kept. Over here are my Empire Strikes Back Hoth figures. Behind them are the Clone Wars figures. Down below are some of my old 95 and uh, Episode 1 figures and the uh, uh, Expanded Universe expanded universe figures. I have my Jabba's Palace diorama, um, Yak Face from the Sail Barge, and some more Expanded Universe figures. I have uh, some, uh, some more Power of the Force figures. Uh, I have the uh, Tantive IV um, play set with some figures that I put on it. Just to, just to kind of have some fun. Here are my Black Series Bounty Hunters and my uh, Season 7 um, Clone Wars figures. Behind them mostly are the original Orange Back Power of the Force figures. Here's some more um, Bad Batch figures and uh, Disney's Galaxy's Edge figures. And the Clone Wars wave of the Black Series figures. Those are awesome, by the way. And I'm hoping to get more um, Return of the Jedi figures when the uh, anniversary comes out. Below that is uh, the Star Speeder 3000 and the newer one below it, though you can't really see it. Um, expanded Universe figures and video game figures. Then my Clone Wars figures. These are the good guys. The, Jet, the Jedi and the Clone Troopers. And then here are my Trade Federation, uh, Droid Army, and uh, Bad Guy figures. I have a slightly parts missing at, -AT. I have uh, the large scale Predator and the uh, NECA Predator figures, plus a lot of old anime figures, Akira, um, Appleseed, uh, some my Disney, Disney robots and sci-fi robots, um, video game figures, what have you. And then across my TV set, there's the, uh, the PL2 transport. And some more Star Wars figures. Over here, I have my uh, Terminator figures and Robocop figures, NECA mostly. And some more Disney figures, some old Robotech figures, and Laura Croft figures, just more various and sundry stuff. More anime figures. I think these are all my Akira figures. Plus uh, Cowboy Bebop. And some anime chicks because, well, I'm a dirty old man. Coming up here, um, some uh, Revenge of the Jedi figures. More of my vintage collection figures. Coming down here, I have the Six Inch Ghostbusters figures. Coming up top are some old um, Star Trek ships of mine. My Turtles collection. I have the neck of large scale figures and then some of the smaller ones behind them. I don't really collect all the auxiliary figures, but I do like the original Turtles. I have a Game of Thrones here. I don't know why, because I used to really like it until they blew the ending. More stuff, more Disney, um, Indiana Jones figures that I got when I lived in California, King Kong, of course, my A-Team, here are my Simpsons figures, and below that are some smaller scale um, Batman the Animated Series figures. Coming across, I just have Speed Racer and TV show figures, uh, Dark Crystal figures, some of the new ones and some of the old ones. Some of the original ones. And down below here, I do have um, some video game figures from back in the day and my recent Diamond Select Lord of the Rings figures. In the middle, 
I have some Joes. I don't collect a lot of them just because they're so hard to get. It's not fun. But I do have these and a couple on pre-order. More retro collection, some G.I. Joe figures, some reaction figures, some Kenner um, original comic, uh, Marvel comic book figures, which I must say are actually really freaking cool. Um, over here, I have some heavy metal figures. And then down below here, uh, some Warhammer 40k pop figures, uh, some Harry Potter figures, and my Arya Stark, because she actually was a cool character. Coming into my kitchen, I don't have any mo very many figures in here, but I have my Star Wars Rebels posters. Over here, I have some Star Wars posters. And my lone Force Awakens poster, which I actually really kind of like, even though I'm not overly fond of the movie. Coming through here again, we see my wallpaper. I was in the Marine, so there's some of my Marine stuff and my father's stuff. Coming into my home office, it's mostly posters and some, some toys and collectibles. Uh, some 132nd scale planes, Masters of the Universe, Star Wars Rebels, both Clone Wars animated series, card backs from toys I collected in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Some more reaction figures. I don't very collect very many Hot Wheels, but I have a few. Uh, and then this is just card backs, mostly from stuff that I collected over the years that just look kind of cool. And my more knickknacks, uh, books, modeling reference material, original Dungeons and Dragons books, um, and a lot of uh, paperback science fiction books, mostly Star Wars and Dragonlance and other sci-fi and fantasy. Um, so that is my collection. Hopefully one day I'm going to start a podcast and it will look much better than what this does right now. But this is kind of an opening video on my Darth Chet's Star Wars Cantina podcast. Coming into my room are my Box Black series. I have Rebels figures, Gaming Greats figures, or Expanded Universe figures, some Force Awakens figures, Solo figures, um, Rogue One figures, the 40th Anniversary Collection, the GameStop R5-D4, then the 40th Anniversary Empire Strikes Back figures, the misnamed or correctly incorrectly named Zuckus and Forlom, some of the, um, what do you call those, the uh, credit collection figures, posters, an original puzzle I built back in the 1979 at my grandmother's house. The excellent Clone Wars figures. And uh, actually the not too shabby Star Wars card back, episode one card back figures. And actually new old stock wallpaper that I found when my parents moved. So again, hopefully this won't be the last video, but this is the first, so forgive me. And we will actually go into the restroom so you can see that my whole house is decorated in Star Wars. I have the Mandalorian shower curtain, Star Wars shower curtain, and Star Wars towels. So again, thank you very much for your time. You have a great day.